Hello, my name is Mark and I make mistakes. So the tripod I've been using uh, stopped, the leg fell out of it again. Well, the leg fell out and it's happened to me before. So what I decided to do was up my game and get a real good freaking tripod. Now this is a Manfrotto professional I'll put the name the official name in the title which you probably didn't know because you clicked on it so here she is let me uh, get the set up and we'll bring it back so I'm already looking forward to uh, not having to switch back and forth between the camera mounts. So this is the Monfrotto one. These are quick release. And you know, it just screws on the back of the camera. And it has this part here which you can turn to tighten it. So And then it just mounts to the top of the camera. Uh, there we go. Might be on backwards actually. Yep, it was. Clearly not a professional. <clears throat> oh, come on. <clears throat> Okay, what's going on here? <clears throat> see, had I noticed, it actually says, I can't see the screen, but it actually says right here, uh, lens. So, my little Dura moment. You know, it happens. It's all good. There we go. So <clears throat> so there's a little tweaking and you know a little tweaking I have to do since I just started using the camera height I have to almost you know I have to always be talking down at the camera because the tripod only goes up so high so you know it is what it is so and this is camera one so this is camera two all right so I'm going handheld so excuse the shakiness but this is a comparison what I have been using to the new one. <clears throat> you can tell by the size. And one thing about this, that this head does not come up at all. Whereas this one 
will. I mean, as you can see, it's almost taller than I am. Let me get the, I can't do this one handed. So these slip out. You can also tilt pretty much your standard. Now I'm still kind of playing with it a little bit. So I just the first time I've had it out, to be honest with you. <clears throat> well, the head's real nice. Oh, it screws down, that's why. Yeah. Good to know for next time. So there's a little tweaking and you know a little tweaking I have to do since I just started using it. So now I have the backup camera. So now I can use the old tripod for this camera. The uh, Olympus Tough Shot. I'll link the video to this down below. So because you know this part right here snapped off. Or the leg actually fell off during my Discovery Park video, which is why there was it was such a short video. This piece here was no longer connected, so I just threw some electrical tape on there to hold it. And uh, this part here doesn't even clasp anymore, so. But I can always use it for the tough shot when I do secondary shots. So. Camera's not exactly level, but I'll have to uh, I'll have to play with it. First time using it, so it feels like a good, solid, really solid tripod. Though I mean, it's also nice and tall as well, unlike the other camera. Sorry, I'm fiddling while you're recording, but. See, now when I do shots, I don't have to almost bend over. So now I can stand fully upright and not have to almost bend down like I'm looking at the camera. Like I have to do with this one here. Okay, so my buddy Nathan had given me this one. And it's a Solo Dex XL. Got to turn the viewfinder. Uh, let's see, Solo Dex XL. The problem I have with this one is there's no quick release. Now I looked on Amazon and um, eBay and a few other sites. I couldn't find the replacement head for this, the quick release. So I ended up doing some Google searching and I found a forum and it had said that the company is no longer the company is no longer around so they're not making replacement parts anymore. So now I, I can't even use this. So which is too bad. I didn't know the company was out of business, so that's a, that's too bad. I couldn't even use it. So, all right. So one thing I want to make mention of is the is the head. Now, if you're not careful, and this has happened to me now a few times, just filming the short videos, just a couple of videos I'm doing. See how it turns? Well, the, this bolt is tightened down, but it's actually the head that's turning. So a few times I've had to come by and 
and kind of give it a good good turn and then just try to make sure to turn this part here when you want to swivel it around so the head won't come off because it would suck to lose your entire head and camera just from an oversight which I could see myself doing I mean to be honest I mean come on so just a little quick thought so now the big question I'm sure a lot of you are wondering well what's it weigh Mark well just a tripod alone is five and a half pounds now before you start flipping tables on me and getting all upset I'm like oh my god the weight mark the weight well the thing is come on bugs the thing is is that for an outing like today <clears throat> the road is just right there because I, I just I come out here to shoot video so I can carry it any weight I want because I only walked literally just to the car which is I can see right over there so you know am I gonna be packing this truthfully I don't know yet because honestly it's it's not really that heavy I mean yeah it's five and a half pounds but it's not like it's you know it's not like it's unbearable as far as weight goes so you know and I know it's gonna hold up this this tripod will probably outlast me as far as durability so now I don't have to worry about oh yeah I forgot the legs did that now I don't have to worry about you know breaking the tripod when I'm out here filming videos for you guys so you know I'm happy with the purchase so far the Monfrotto 290 extra made in Italy and I love Italian food so score so yeah, we'll see how that goes over over time. I'll probably do a year with the gear with this at some you know next year at this time probably, or when I get a chance to. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, always appreciated. Um, leave a comment. Always, I always read them. And uh, yeah, have a good one. Catch you on the next one. And of course, I still have my monopod from that my buddy Oregon Mike had given me, which I've been using a little bit more often since I have the second camera now. But all I gotta do is just screw it onto the top and then I can turn this to just either the camera itself and then the, the part here. But I just, you know, I just fold it down when I go to pack it away. And then you can wrap the Velcro around like branch or something to get those overhead shots, which I've not done, but been meaning to, but just haven't gotten to it. So, 